that would clear up a lot of space in the set because there are a ton of uh, props and stuff in the movies. I mean, so much that, like, there's no, between the props and all Walt's devil stuff, there is not another inch of, of wall space to put anything. So it's small, but what do you want from this? Not even at his home base. Yeah. 
How do you know about food carts in LA? He used to live in LA. Interestingly, he used to live in LA. He regrets ever having gotten married and having kids. He wants to go back to LA and live in the same place. The man owned a pinball machine at one point. I mean, how do you trump that? <laughs> anyway, um, and Walter, uh, Brian Quinn, who's on the Critiques of Practical Jokers, and I do a podcast called Tell Him See Faith, and we did uh, Pod Wars, which Walt came on with all the events. It was a wrap off, which they took very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> what else did we do? What we do? Yeah, you want to do some freestyle? And then, at a 
certain point, Harry Potter is drug addicted and going up into rooms with strange men. It was bizarre. So when I read it, when I read it, I, I thought like this has to get a dramatic reading. Um, so we did it on Tell Them TV, and a lot of people asked that day. They're, they're like, when can we uh, hear more? But I'll tell you, I promise you, if we read the rest of the book, you would be like, oh. Like, it's, it's nothing even near that crazy. So there, there's really no reason. I mean, I think she's been trying to find a publisher, so perhaps, <laughs> you know. You want to do a Wolf You want to do a Wolf Voice? Do you want to do a Wolf Voice? Remember, it was like, no! Well, wait, do you want to give them a taste of season three? Do you want to, you want to hear a Chewbacca impression for them? <laughs> This is Ming's uh, Chewbacca impression. All right, ready? <laughs> can you imagine, like, you're, 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 a, you're a professional, like, you could be looking at almost every show out there, Brian Michelle, our showrunner right here. Awesome guy. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a good talk impression. Let's see, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, John, I asked a question. Was it did, didn't you answer? Yeah. Was that the last question? Can I get your beer? Oh, sure. I'm going to get room over there, baby. Well, you lost me, and you're going back.
didn't understand. Like, they wanted to make it their show. Even coming off of a successful first season, they're like, all right, we're going to make it better. And the guy literally said, we're going to blow away last season. I don't like what we did one last season.